Hey guys, today's video I'm going to be sharing with you guys how I created some high-end modern home decor DIY dupes with Dollar Tree products. So the first DIY dupe that I wanted to recreate was these ruffle bowls that I've been seeing everywhere online and on these home decor stores that are like $225 or some of them are like $162. They can be quite expensive, but you can create some on your own for much, much less. So Dollar Tree during Easter time had these ruffle bowls. They were pretty on their own. I liked using them for my Easter party, especially with the design that they had because I love this pink on this one with the writing and also the bunnies that came on this one. It just has such a pretty tone for Easter. They also had one that had the carrots on it. So after after I used them for my Easter party, I wanted to take them and use them to create some home decor. So the first one, I just spray painted it a matte white to give it that look of the ruffle bowls that I have been seeing all over the stores and online. Just give it an all white look. And I think this would be perfect during right now during the summertime because it goes great with the colors of blues um, that go with like the summer ocean theme. And I think I'm going to put a lot of like ocean theme things inside it. So stay tuned for how I'm going to style this when it comes to my summer decor. Then I wanted to take the other one and spray painted it a matte black because you guys know I'm into that high end modern look, which I think is a lot of, you know, blacks and whites. And so I wanted to spray paint one black to see how it looked. And this one to me, I feel like it's perfect for September and the fall time because I love how black goes against with, um, with red and green. And so I think this would be great to style during this, uh, you know, the September months and the fall time, but you can also use it all year round. Then I wanted to give this a little bit more of a glam look. So I took the third one and I spray painted the inside side of it a baby pink and then I spray painted the outside of it that matte white and then I took this pen that I found at Walmart it's a gold pen and I wanted to do the edges of this ruffle bowl in gold you don't have to you could just keep it like the pink and the white and it looks very nice like that but I wanted to add accents of gold because if you guys know if you've been following me for a while you guys know that I love to decorate my craft room with marble blacks and whites baby pinks and touches of gold and so this one is going to be perfect for my craft room slash office um, and you will see that soon in my upcoming new office tour i'm going to share with you guys but you got to take your time with this because it could slip and then when it slips then you'll make like marks so really take your time when you're taking the marker and going around the edges you can make this as thin or as thick that, as you want i want it like a thin look so that's why you just see a little bit touch of gold but you can go a little bit thicker if you would like um, i just didn't want to mess it up so i just did a thin layer of the gold now this like I said I'm gonna use it to decorate my office and it looks so pretty with like gold and teals and whites it just the colors of my craft room and my office it's gonna be perfect for but you can also use it for your closet or you can use it for um, your bathroom whatever area that you love pinks and whites this will be perfect for when I saw these black and white planner pots, I was so excited because normally Dollar Tree has like all these like funky and bright colors when it comes to planner pots and things. And so I always have to spray paint it either black or white to get that modern look. So the fact that they already came in all white and all black, I was super excited. So I wanted to make these planner pots with those wood stands that I've been seeing everywhere in Target and in the, um, the home decor, you know, the high end home decor stores. They can go anywhere between 25 to 50 to $75 for this exact size. And I'm actually going to be making two of these for less than $3 guys because each pot was $1.25 and I used one of the boxes of the Jenga block pieces to create the little stands for it and I didn't even use the whole pack. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create them and use some wood glue to create them and then I'm also going to paint one of them white and one of them black so they can go, you know, they can be contrasting with the colors of the black and white pots. Now, if you would like to keep this all natural, you can, but this, for the simple fact that I'm using these um, wooden Jenga block pieces from Dollar Tree, you would see all kind of like the lines and stuff. So that's why I decided to paint mine. But if you do want to keep it all natural, I would suggest to go to Walmart. They do have these like wood pieces that you can actually cut uh, to size and they're like, um, a solid piece and so that way you can achieve the look of these wood you know risers these wood stands without having to paint it Now I wanted each of my planners to be at different heights because I feel like it looks better um, put together when they're each at different heights. So one of them, I only put four of the Jingle block pieces and the taller one I put five of the Jingle block pieces.
and this is how my planner pots turned out you guys I absolutely love them now I'm using them and styling them in my living room but you can also use these outdoors especially right now where everybody's trying to decorate their front porch and their back porches for the summertime especially their back porch area because we're gonna be spending a lot of time out there during the summer months all I say is that if you do put it outside that you put some type of sealer on the paint that you use for the wooden risers. That way you protect it from the weather, especially the rain. And the greenery that I use for these pots, I actually found them at Dollar Tree. I love the greenery that they're bringing out um, this year. They look very real, very realistic, and nobody would think, if you put these outside, nobody would think that these are fake plants. Now, when I saw these rugs at Dollar Tree, I instantly thought high-end modern look because it has the style of the stripes, the black and white. It looks so high-end modern, but when it comes to Dollar Tree rugs, they can be kind of small. Well, they are very small. So really, they look more like placemats than actual rugs. So what I did was I decided to buy two of them and I was going to put it together with just some duct tape and so I can create a bigger rug. And that's all I did was I just took some heavy duty duct tape that I got from Walmart and I taped them together and that's all I did. And it's been working great for me. I do suggest that you find some of those um, rug, like it's, it's like a thing where you put um, underneath your rug so they don't move. I think Dollar Tree does have it. I've heard people say that Dollar Tree does have it, but I haven't seen it in my Dollar Trees yet. I plan to try to get something from Walmart to put on the bottom of this rug so it doesn't move. Um, but I haven't got it yet. So if you have um, a brand that you guys like or something that one that you purchased for your rugs that works really good, like rug tape or anything like that, please let me know in the comments down below so that I can use it for this rug. Cause this one, I actually decided to put it in my kitchen um, to put right by my sink so I can, you know, catch all that water from doing the dishes. And it just gives my kitchen a high end look and a little decorative look with a little rug right there. But you can also use this on the front porch um, and also the back porch as well. It could be used for both indoors and outdoors. I just really love how this, you know, how this high and modern rug looks and how I can instantly make a bigger one by just, you know, attaching two pieces together. So that is it for today's video, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments down below which home decor DIY dupe was your favorite. And also give me ideas on how you would style each of these, especially the ruffle bowls. I would love to know what you guys would put inside them, how you would style them on a shelf, where you would put it at, and your ideas on that. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Hey guys, don't forget to click on the picture in the middle of the screen so you can subscribe to my channel and get notifications on all the new videos that I put out. And check out these other two videos that I have posted on my channel on either side of my picture. Have a great day.